da, da, da. Hello everybody. Welcome. Today is the 10th of Feb. 10th of Feb or 10th of February. And just here in the studio, you saw me uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday do those GP bowls. Oh yeah, my good friend Owen is here. He's my right hand man, once a week. Welcome Owen. Thank you, good to be here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna... So usually, with these bowls that you saw me make, um, it's not usually necessary to trim them. But these have just got just a little bit harder. And some of them actually could do with a trim. So if you're going to take a, a pot that you've made, put it down on the wheel head, and if you apply pressure to it to get it to stick, just be, you better be careful that it's not too dry in the top section here, because if you push it down on the wheel head, it will crack. So that's just something... Uh, Owen, could you get me my water spray? Thanks. Um, so I'm just thinking that these might be a little bit borderline. And even, you know, it might not even show up a crack at this stage. Um, I think that was just that one looked a little bit, possibly. Okay, so, all right, let's... I'm just going to show you, this is, I'm not really trimming these. This is what, how I would describe as skimming them. Okay, but we can talk about, talk about it. Okay, so we'll take one of these. Actually, that one looks like it's... You've got to be vigilant that they don't get dry in the top. All right, so just damp it like that with some water and then face down. And now we're going to tap center. Okay, there he is. And now a little downward pressure, pressure. Take our trim tool with one finger there and we're just going to remove a little bit of that clay just at the base there and then put a bevel on like that. Okay, having done that, I'm going to take my seal and just push my seal in. And there he is. So having the rolled rim does help to keep the, the bowl um, round. So these are, we fire them on top of each other, face to face in the kiln. Okay, so learn how to tap center. And don't forget, break the corner there with a bevel. It's very important that you don't want to have a, the bottoms of your pots with sharp, sharp edges. Okay, so then that will go like that, you see. That, that could be fired in the kiln like that, you see, with one on top of the other. So the rolled rim, it, it, it helps to keep the pot round. Not only that, it, it gives a, a location for one to locate on top of the other. You see that, Owen? Yeah. What I'm talking about? So it's it's good it's good to learn how to to do a, a rolled rim. It has quite a lot of useful uh, applications, not just not just in with GP bowls. Dee, 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 dee. 
dee, 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 dee. So now I'm going to show you something different. Okay, so this in this in this scenario here, we've just skimmed the the base here. Now I'm not going to take him off the wheel. Okay, I'm just going to get the next one and locate him on like that. And now skim like that. Are we in the picture? Let's get come in for a bit of detail. We like detail, don't we? Don't we? Owen. Yes, we do. We do indeed. <laughs> All right, so there he is. All right, so we've done that one. We didn't even need to. We can just straight away, okay, put him down there. Keep that one on the wheel. A little bit of... So you notice these are not like hollowed out here on the foot ring. It doesn't have a hollowed out foot ring. It doesn't, it doesn't need it, you know. I mean, it is a humble GP bowl. General purpose bowl. You know, we don't want to spend a lot of time um, doing fancy cut feet. You know, on a on a on a on a cheap GP bowl. These are so you know they're cheap. They're like twenty five bucks. So we've got to make them quickly, efficiently. So, get yourself a seal. Don't be, don't be a scratcher. That awful those scratch signature pots that people do. No one could read the darn things. Uh, looks much more professional if you have a a, a stamp. Um, I have a video on make how to make your own. You don't need to be worried about having your own seal when you're sort of like beginning, when you're learning. It's, it's kind of like the cart before the horse. You don't really want to be concerned about that. Just make good pots. And don't worry about a seal until you, until you know, you can throw competently and that you think that your pots are worthy that somebody might recognize them if they if they chanced upon them okay There's many things you can do with a GP with a GP bowl. It, you know, you can make this say considerably larger. Um, you could make it like into a type of mixing bowl or a slightly smaller, a salad bowl. Um, let's pull back the camera now, touch. Uh, in fact, what I want to do. Possibly next, well actually I've got some more GP bowls to make here, but make some double bowls, which is where I take two bowls, throw two bowls, and I, and I join them together by pushing them together when they're wet, and then um, making a join while they're still wet. And then when they're leather hard, I put a little strap handle across. Uh, it's a sort of... Um, a, 
a piece for, you know, if you've got friends around, you've got some, some, or some, some nibbles, you know, you'd, you'd, you'd use one of those, you know, a bit, bit of cheese or a bit of dip or something like that, and um, they, they're useful. I don't know if I've got any here in the studio that I could show you off the top of my head. Oh, Is there one there next door? Right. Yeah, pretty sure there's one out here. Okay, yeah, grab that, thanks. Yeah, Owen's just going to get them. I've done them before in the past, I've shown you. Um, I think they're on the left there somewhere. Yeah, I have one that's already fired and glazed. Oh yeah, be careful as you handle it, because it might have pigment on it. So yeah, this is this is a, an example of what I was just talking about, a double bowl. Um, yeah. So one thing to be careful with 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 um, if you put iron oxide on, just be careful as you pick it up. But that, that's that's exactly what I was talking about with a strap handle. We're going to be making some of those coming up soon. These are good sellers. People like them. And, um, yeah, they're a little bit more involved because they're two pieces together, put together. Okay, folks, hey, uh, thanks for joining uh, Owen and me here. Owen comes up for a couple of hours a week. And it gives, whoops, gives me a... Gives me a hand. So go to my website if you could, uh, simonleachpottery.com. Um, we've got some pots and tools up there. Yeah, there's always sort of tools there. Just picked up some new trim tools, some of these. Yesterday I went down and saw my Amish carpenter, uh, Amish carpenter. Yeah, my Amish carpenter and my Amish metal worker. And uh, he's supplied me with some more of those. So I've got them. They're up on the website. Um, what else? Workshops. Workshops 2021. We are full steam ahead. <laughs> so go there. If you're interested in coming on a workshop, um, check out the dates. And um, yeah, write to me. Uh, SimonLeachPottery at gmail.com and um, anything else to say uh, I think that's about it other than to say of course keep practicing, practicing. we'll see you soon bye for now